Okay, so we're gonna make another one of those real quick. And so what I want is a small LED. hooked to our 680 ohm resistor. Now the LED has a longer end, and a shorter end, the anode cathode. We want to bend the longer end out. And then any end of the LED or of the resistor, we're gonna take and twist around. We'll end up soldering this bit together. This kind of becomes like our second leg, or an alternate leg for the LED. And then what I'm going to do is actually clip off the end of this resistor so that it's actually got kind of like the one leg has been replaced by the resistor and then it's sticking out to the side there and then what I'm gonna do is hook the side with the resistor is gonna go into the live wire and I can actually just kind of shove it down into the housing the insulator housing on this wire. And the same thing with the positive, or with the negative, is it with the positive? And what we might want to do is actually solder that on, because those connections aren't the best. So let's go ahead and make a couple of these directly. And then what we'll do is actually solder them on here, rather than sticking them in that insulation. So, so let's go ahead and make a couple of these little legs for the LEDs right now. So again, it's the longer end. Let's spin it out at an angle. Take our resistor. Oops. Just kind of twist it. Clip the excess. So we have two of those, and one already hooked up. Let's make our third one, sticking the long leg out. Third one here. And twisting that around finally.
so now that we have that, let's head over and we will put some solder on each of these to kind of firm them up a little bit more and solder them directly on to these connections and then we will put some of the DC jacks on. 